Priceless porcelain statue. The one he told us never to. Go near, touch, or hit with footballs. What are we going to do? Move to the North Pole. Maybe we can tape it back together. You're a genius, Belfry. Perfect. Theo will never know the difference. Oh, what about these, Luther? Huh. Where those come from? <gasps> no matter. Let's hide before Theo catches us. Luther, Belfry. How do they know it were us? Which one of you two did this? <laughs> no, that made me do it! What? I oh, never did! You squealer! <laughs> Is that my fault I'm a squealer? <laughs> uh, they're not that different from people, are they? When we break one of God's commandments, we often want to excuse our sin rather than admit to it, don't we? Have you ever heard someone say, oh, I'm not as bad as that chap, so I can't be all bad? <laughs> oh, how about this one? The devil made me do it. Here's my favorite. No one's perfect. He's right, you know. No one is perfect. Because of sin, we humans are broken, just like this statue. All of our good works, all of our kind intentions can never glue us back together. If only God could somehow make sinners righteous without violating his holy character and justice. And that's exactly what he did through a process known as justification. <laughs> Big word, eh? Imagine that you are standing before a judge for a crime you've committed. You are guilty. You know that you deserve punishment. But then someone steps forward and says, I will pay his debt. I will take his penalty upon myself. This person will be as though he never did wrong. Imagine, to your amazement, that the judge accepts his offer and declares that you are no longer guilty, but righteous. This is justification. God did this by sending his righteous son to pay for our sins. The Bible tells us that there were two thieves who were crucified with Jesus. They might have even been friends with Barabbas, the rebel. Barabbas was a leader of a movement that wanted to overthrow the Roman government in Israel. But he and the men with him were caught. They were tried and condemned to die by Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. Jesus had been condemned also. Pilate gave the crowd a choice, either to set Jesus free or Barabbas. However, the people wanted Barabbas to be released and given life in exchange for the death of Jesus. So Pilate set him free. Several of the people and soldiers at the crucifixion hurled insults at Jesus, saying things like, 
He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Christ, the chosen one of God. Even the two thieves mocked Jesus, saying, If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross and save us. But instead of returning their insults, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This made a big impact on one of the thieves. He was suddenly ashamed of his behavior and began to feel guilt for his sins. He told the other thief to stop insulting Jesus. They were guilty of crimes worthy of death, but Jesus was innocent. Perhaps he heard Jesus teaching or had witnessed him healing the sick, or one of his many acts of kindness. We don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us. But one thing we do know, something changed inside him while he was hanging on the cross beside Jesus. God opened his eyes to believe that Jesus was indeed the Messiah, the Son of God. For he said to him, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Because of the man's faith, Jesus turned to him and said, Truly I say unto you, today you will be with me in paradise. What an amazing statement! A thief, a rebel. His miserable life at an end, he obviously had not earned God's favor by any good works. And yet, in that moment, Jesus took his sins upon himself, and God declared him not guilty. What's more, God clothed him in the righteousness of his Son, whose death satisfied his holy justice, and the thief entered the kingdom of heaven. This is justification. Ha! Ah, there. Good as new. I don't get it. Phil let us off the hook. He said he loved us, even when we mess up, Luther. Go figure. Theo's irreplaceable shell. The one he told us never to go near, touch, or hit with footballs. What are we gonna do? Move to the South Pole? I'm already packed! It's amazing! Not only did Theo <coughs> let us off the hook, but he gave us some gumdrops. <laughs> We didn't get what we deserved, but we got something we didn't deserve. Huh. We've been justified, Belfry. <sighs> justified. 